Welcome to Miss Cole's Patent Practice Techniques. <laughs> Number two, swing haggis. Disclaimer, please note that swinging a haggis is not something we recommend you try at home or outside for that matter. Thank you. This technique is great for use on passages of quavers or semi-quavers or even just fast crotchets. It's suitable for beginners up to grade eight and beyond, and it helps identify the awkward bits, the stumbling blocks for you to then focus on. And just like chewing gum, it's more fun than playing it slowly. We're going to look at a little corner of the grade one brass exam to explain how swing haggis works. Here's the bit we're going to look at. This section has evenly spaced notes like this. I find Lego always helps. In order to turn evenly spaced notes into swing, you have to think jazz and scoo be doo be doo be doo be. <laughs> haggis is the exact opposite, and I call it haggis because that's how it sounds. Haggis, 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 haggis. actually done is instead of evenly spacing the notes and dividing the beat in half we've divided each beat in three. The note lengths are either a third or two thirds of a beat depending on whether we are playing in swing or haggis. By changing the rhythm of our original extract you are making it a little harder to play so when you've mastered both swing and haggis playing it straight <laughs> will be a piece of cake. Yum! This technique is really good for identifying the hardest corners for you to sort out, and really good for scale practice as well. You have to do haggis as well as swing though. There's no escaping the haggis. Final words of wisdom from me. When you practice, get everything you need ready before you start, and always remember, if you have worked a section through with swing haggis, you have moved it forward. Even if it isn't perfect yet, it will have improved, and you should feel great about that. Well done. You now know how to do this and why it's worth the effort. So go and have fun with Swing Haggis. See you next time.